I mentioned earlier, and I want you to understand, young people played a major role in the Civil Rights Movement. I've told you about Claudette Carvin. Of course, Mary Louise Smith, who was also a plaintiff in Brower versus Gale, which is a suit that integrated the buses, she was only 18. Martin Luther King, at the time, was 20, what, about 27. I was 24. Abernathy was about 28. Mrs. Parks was about 36. Then you had the, the student demonstrations that started at A&T in 1960 the lunch counter demonstrations, which caught fire and spread it across the nation. And it resulted in the passage of the Public Accommodation Act. And then after the Montgomery bus boycott in, in 55, we had the first Civil Rights Act in 1957 that gave the, the federal government, the Justice Department, the authority to bring lawsuits to end uh, uh, desegre uh, to end discrimination in voting rights cases. Then you had any number of proclamations by various presidents ending segregation. Then you had uh, uh, these women. I told you Mary Louise uh, uh, Joanne Robinson has written a book, and, and she is one of the real architects of the whole civil rights movement. The title of her book is uh, The Montgomery Bus Boycott and the Women Who Started It. You take the young people, SNCC and CORE, they are the ones who really went over to Selma and worked with the local people over there and started the Selma to Montgomery March. And when they were beaten back on what is now Bloody Sunday, I went across the bridge after that had happened that night and they called me and I talked to the individuals and we filed a lawsuit that next day. And before the close of day on Monday, we had filed uh, Williams versus George Wallace, which made the state integrate the buses, uh, made the state protect the marchers as they marched from Selma to Montgomery. That resulted in the passage of the Voting Rights Act. As a result of the passage of the Voting Rights Act, you had thousands of African Americans and other minorities across this nation who became eligible to vote they elected many minorities, and even more importantly, their vote helped to elect a lot of the majorities. And so you have, with all of these laws and all of these passages, you then have the election of last year.